people welcome back to my youtube channel my name is caroline for Kalicious loves in today's video we are doing an autumn clothing and styling haul yes i got pieces from h&m mint velvet which is my absolute fave and a mango i will also be sharing with you some autumn trends that i have seen like everywhere i go they're literally in my face so we're going to dive into that and you know give my two cents on whether it's actually worth it investing in these trends so the first brand that i'm going to start with is h m and when i saw this blue knit set is so cute it was giving me very chic vibe very parisian vibes depending on how you style it and it comes with this knitted mint skirt obviously we are in the uk so everything that looks like a set is going to be sold separately I mean it's a I mean for me but when i wear it i don't feel like i'm feeling so exposed i think because it's not too tight but there's a zillion ways you can style this because it's a two-piece you can style the top on its own you can style the skirt on its own i've actually styled this like with a trench coat with with a, with a pair of jeans you know something preppy like with a sweatshirt i really really like it when i initially ordered this i was like i don't know if it's going to fit me but i love it so much i'm having second thoughts of sending it back you might just see me wearing this the thing that i love about this is the kind of like um fake pockets that are here so there's not actually pockets it just looks like there's pockets and i love the silver details the buttons come in silver which is so cute because i would prefer to style this with like gold jewelry you know when you mix silver and gold it's just so cute but yeah this this keep this set is giving me a life pair of leopard print slingbacks they're like kitten heels and so cute like if you have been to the shops or you've gone online leopard print is so in it's so trendy right now but the good thing about leopard is just it's just not trendy it's classic it was in last year because i remember styling a leopard print dress last year i'll put it here uh i remember the year before i styled a maxi leopard print so if you are trying to jump on this leopard print trend right you need to invest wisely um, you need to look at your wardrobe first thing and see the kind of pieces that you like to purchase and purchase that in leopard print because the other day I was thinking right I've seen these leopard pants everywhere and they're so cute and everything but I looked at my closet when I buy pants i don't buy print pants the only print you will see on my pants is stripes and i thought to myself yeah this is a cute trend and everything but the fact that i don't have any printed pair of pants in my wardrobe what makes me think i'm gonna wear this leopard print pants long term you, you see what i'm saying these are so cute and i absolutely love the price point i think they were less than 30 pounds which is really nice and they're a classic these are a pair of heels that you can wear throughout the year and i think it's one of those pieces where even if leopard is not trending as much you can still wear this the other item that i got was a leopard print long sleeve total neck if you don't like color that's too heavy i think this print provides that balance as you can see this shade of leopard is slightly richer than this this is giving more neutral vibes so if you are that kind of girl who's more neutral and you still want to inject this leopard print in your wardrobe i think this is really cute it's perfect for uh autumn and then obviously winter uh just throw on a coat really the final piece that i got from h and m was this a bag so cute so handy i think you can also style it as a cross body bag because it's got um, a strap inside uh, i love bags that are like that it's so versatile like it can carry it in different ways 
wear white wear black anything monochrome put this in there it's gonna work it's gonna mint velvet mint velvet gives sort of like relaxed glam their pieces are stunning the quality is amazing i absolutely love them the price point is slightly high up so i usually shop during sale time okay the first piece that i got from mint velvet was a red wool coat and for mint velvet autumn they really pushed out the rouge trend this is like red and it really stood out i was like yeah you know what let's 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 get some rouge pieces and uh, try them on so this red cord is so stunning i've styled it with this blue set from h and m and it looks good and the red is so rich if you love color then you would definitely love this the only downside is that when i buy cords i prefer to get coats that will keep me warm and that means coats that have buttons coats that have a belt so i can wrap myself and tie it but this one doesn't so it's more of like an autumn transitioning piece if it was really cold in the winter this this one will not will not handle me or it will not handle me so i love the color but i just feel like the investment and the thing i wanted to do will not handle it will not handle but i absolutely love it absolutely love it i think you can take the place of like a warmer a much warmer trench coat where you just wear it and leave it open without the buttons that sort of thing but it's lovely in color it's gorgeous i then bought another piece that came in red when i saw this sweatshirt it just gave me like really preppy vibes you can dress it up or you can dress it down and the red is so rich i don't know if my camera is doing it justice i have no idea there's like a lot of sun coming in it's actually true to size i got this in large and it fits perfectly but my arms are sort of like big so when i try to roll up the sleeves it's tight so i'll just say that i i feel like when i get sweatshirts i like them to be like on the bigger side and i absolutely love this i paired this with the knitted skirt from h&m and it's so cute this can be worn like on cute little dates um brunch with the girls or you're running errands and you just want to look so chic and preppy then yes 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 mint velvet did not forget the leopard print they're literally milking it they've got everything in leopard print from dresses to skirts to tops to jeans to jackets they've got it all to knit and this is my absolute fave i love this because it literally gives leopard vibes you can see the different shades of the print as you you know it's, it gets darker and then lighter this is definitely my vibe and i think it also resonates with more like neutral galleys so you don't want like something really rich you just want something neutral doesn't stand out this dress can be paired with a pair of knee-high boots yes for a good night out on an autumn night or winter night it's perfect you can pair this with the red coat um that i just showed you earlier but i know it's short right and if there's someone who loves versatile styling maximizing cost per wear multiple styling then that's me i know that it might look short and some of you be like okay caroline i'll wait on a night out what when am i going to wear it next i'm not maximizing my wardrobe potential don't worry this dress is short enough that all you have to do is wear it as a top yeah yeah you're welcome finally from mint velvet i bring you the leopard denim pants that i have been seeing everywhere like literally everywhere i've been seeing these leopard pants since spring and i was like you know what it looks good i won't lie when i see people i'm like okay i do like that it looks really good but mm, i just don't know i just don't know if it's for me and so i bought this pair of pants i'm like let me try them on they come in like cargo style and they fit me to the t my bum literally just mm, 
my waist just mm, everything like i didn't have to struggle i usually have to like be picky when i buy pants especially like denim because this is like denim material and the fit is just a hit or miss you know because i've got hips i've got bumps and this one was perfect it's stretchy so it's definitely good if you do want to get a pair of leopard print pants then these are really nice they fit so well but i will go back to my reasoning earlier i love them they fit really well but i don't have any pair of printed pants in my wardrobe and that tells me caroline yeah you love this now but you probably won't wear it again right so no i have not shopped in mango for ages i don't remember the last time i shopped in mango i do have pieces from mango but the first thing that caught my eye and this is the third trend that i have seen everywhere and i'm actually loving because it's so subtle it's so rich and this is the bordeaux trend yes i'm not talking about wine yeah i would love to have some wine though i won't lie that that is a good idea burgundy rich red these heels these sling backs ah stunning they are giving like valentino jupe vibes i know mango has these in red as well and when i saw them i was like yes 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 it's not too overpowering that you can pretty much pair it with any other color if you like i absolutely love these they fit so well i love them i've styled them a couple of times i think this trend is perfect for those who are loving the red but just don't love such bright colors then this would be a good alternative for you mm? still on the red uh, this tote bag from mango is so cute i absolutely love it it's so simple you literally just open and close uh i'm actually very tempted to keep this i do have a red hat bag um that's like a cross body bag from ferragamo but i feel like this is different uh so i'm kind of like on the fence but i absolutely love it it's a red handbag okay i think it's always stylish even though it's very much on trend i think this is a piece that you can carry throughout the year depending on what you are wearing i did get flats from mango and i think this is probably my least favorite item that i got from this whole uh haul and i think it's just the fit they fit funny they're not really shaped to i don't know i feel like i've just stushed my 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 foot it's so tight it looks funny <laughs> i don't even know if i should show you i just don't like the look i absolutely don't like the look i think it's perfect for someone who's got like slim feet and i don't think i have slim feet i didn't like it that much so much so that i didn't even bother styling these flats they're like ballerina flats let's see <laughs> mm. I don't know it just looks like uh, i don't know man it's not me <laughs> it's not for me it's not for me i do have two dresses from mango as well i've got this one shoulder leopard print uh dress this print is also rich just like the bag and the kitten sling bags and i absolutely love it it's very fitting i love the way it fits in different places this also is giving me more of like sleep dress slip skirt vibes so there are ways that you can style this you know you can style it as a dress the way it is or you can style it as a skirt or you can style it as a top throw on a skirt on top yeah so versatile my last and favorite piece is this fur dress it's giving me Dolce and Gabbana vibes and it's a beautiful. I think I should have got it in a larger size. I got this in size large, so maybe I need an extra large because it's slightly tight at the bust. 
I will be celebrating my fifth wedding anniversary very soon and mm, this dress hugs all the right places and yeah it's one of the contenders for like dinner night yeah so it's it's like one of the contenders for like dinner anniversary dinner so i might get in a bigger size so that you know i'm able to eat as well <laughs> it can be very easy to jump on trends but you need to really understand yourself you could jump on a trend that makes sense for you like you know you're actually going to wear it several several times good for you but if you are stuck and not really sure on how to jump on a trend i would say go into your wardrobe and look at the pieces that you wear the most if it's knitwear then maybe you might want to invest in that trend but in knitwear if it's like jewelry accessories then you want to do that if it's more shoes then you might want to inject that trend through your shoes but like if you don't really have a lot of skirts and you don't like wearing skirts there's no point investing in a skirt in that trend i hope you enjoyed watching this video i will link everything in the description below so you guys can shop later they are all affiliate links make sure you share this with a friend let me know which styling tips that you like the most if you'll be taking some of the styling inspiration from this video and shopping in your wardrobe and seeing how things work together let me know i will see you in my next video guys bye